Colton, great to visit with you as always, man. I, I got to ask you about not just that play, but the lead up to it. Because you're one of the premier defenders in the game. And I remember asking Nolan Arenado, hey, if there are kids who want to be like you, Nolan being Nolan, what can they do? And he said, I like to go to the back of the grass to make the throws as long as possible. Well, what about you in the middle infield? What do you do to prepare you for moments like that? I think it's just practicing all those type of plays. You know, that's the biggest thing. It's, it's kind of having fun out there defensively, taking risks, but understanding that, you know, all these things that I'm doing, uh, you know, I plan on using it sometime during the game. Uh, you know, in, for instance, that, that play that I did, you know, I, I practiced kind of that flip, but, you know, it's just knowing where the ball is in the glove at the time. You know, and when I caught it, I knew it was in the right part of my glove where uh, when I made that flip, I'd have the control uh, that I knew I needed to get there. And, you know, I just kind of put in a spot where I hoped, you know, Weicho was going to be, and, you know, everything kind of just played out perfectly. I mean, I, I thought you might cut me off so, mid, mid, mid first question there, Colton, because, I mean, you, <laughs> you see the shirt. You see the shirt yeah. that I'm rocking. Oh! Okay. Hey, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at a smaller screen, but <laughs> hey, I like that shirt though. Hey, so really appreciate the, the support, man. Hey, exactly. For those who don't know, so Colton partnered with the good people at Waikea. And if you never had just natural alkaline Hawaiian volcanic water, then you need to try it out. So just tell us about this partnership and the work that you guys are trying to do together. Yeah, so we partnered up together to make this shirt. Um, we have another one also with a guy that I went to high school with. His name's Aaron Kai. Uh, he's, he's an artist in California right now. Uh, so he came up with the idea of these shirts and, and White Care. We collabed. And so every shirt sold, um, we're going to donate a book you know, to kids back home. Uh, where I'm from, you know, there's really not that much money going around. Uh, you know, it's not a big tourist attraction. So, you know, kids back there don't have the ability to get school, you know, new books or anything mm. like that. So we're trying to, you know, create revenues for these kids to allow them to have a chance to be successful in life and, and get out and, you know, have the ability to, to get a good education. Awesome, man. Dude, so good, bro. I love that you using your stage like that. But I want to go, uh, speaking of which, why people love you so much, we had a chance to do our show down here in Austin, Texas at University of Texas. They're playing. Uh, yes, sir. Kansas Jayhawks, your boys, and Maui Ohuna, who's a big fan of Colton, and your dad is his hitting coach, Kaha? Yes, sir. Yep, Maui's been, we, I've known Maui since he was about six years old. Mm. Um, he's been with my dad since, since day one, you know, kind of working to this progress, but it, it's awesome to see, man. You know, we, that was the whole thing behind this whole uh, movement that we got going in on the Big Island. You know, me and my brother were kind of the first guys to kind of get it going on the Big Island. And, but the thing is, we wanted to create a wave, you know, allow these kids to realize that there's an ability to be out there. You know, you have a chance to do exactly what I'm doing, as long as you work hard and understand that nothing is given. You know, we haven't taken anything for granted in this life. You know, we know that where we come from, um, these kind of things are just dreams, you know. So we're doing what we're doing right now. We're just trying to create this wave, allow these kids to hop on and continue to, you know, keep this train going for the next generation and to just bring light to how much you know special talent there is on the islands. Hey, and we saw Maui make an unbelievable play that would make you the Gold Glover proud later in that series. But what well, something he said to us on that set, Colton, was he's just a kid from a small town trying to do big things. Now, the 808 is tight knit, right? Um, oh, as I mean, as, as tight as it gets. Right, and so here we are at the end of API Heritage Month, right? And you and I, we got to yeah. visit last year during our MLB Tonight conversation special and talking about this. But I wanna go a little bit further because I think during this month, Colton, there's a lot of attention paid to the East Asian cultures. Like I'm, I'm, I'm Japanese, right? So Japanese, yeah. the Chinese, uh, Korean, the list goes on. But I think Pacific Islanders and native Hawaiians, their culture, their history, their story, kind of gets lost in this month's shuffle because there are a lot of rich and diverse communities kind of lumped into this one month. So yeah. I was wondering if you could speak further on that as a native Hawaiian and a Pacific Islander. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, bringing pride to the, just the people in Hawaii and, you know, all around the Pacific Islands. Um, you know, I think everyone just looks at us as a bunch of surfers and a bunch of people who just kind of live on the islands, you know, mm -hmm. not realizing that, you know, we're kids that dream of being the next Ken Griffey Jr., of being the next Mike Trout, you know, or even, you know, being professional football players. I mean, it's just all about, you know, perspective on life and understanding that, you know, nothing is given, like I said. And I think that's just an island mentality that we all grew up having, you know. So I think 
bringing light to the situation that, you know, Hawaii is just as tough as anywhere else, um, you know, to get seen and to get exposure. You know, so for us, you know, anybody from the Pacific Islands and whatnot, it's always, you know, number one for us to, you know, bring light to that situation and show these kids back home that anything is possible. Perfect. Yes, sir. No doubt about it. Now, you and your wife, Alyssa, have a son named Cash. First of all, great name because I got a son named Cash. <laughs> So that being said, I want you to awesome. confirm dad strength because when you're in the show and you have <laughs> oh, a man. child, what happens is that you give him a hug and a kiss and that night you hit a leadoff homer. Confirm hey. dad strength. Oh, confirm for sure. I'll tell you what, man. I mean, just holding that kid. My son's like 25 pounds now. So I, I truly understand what dad strength means. You know, when you're holding that kid for two, three hours, shoulders are burning, you know, traps are on fire, and you're like, man, I, I need to put this kid down, but I can't. Um, that's where dad strength for sure comes in. But, you know, I'm still waiting for it to kick in a little more. I'm, I'm, I want a few more homers, so, yeah. you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, you're stuck on three right now. Hey, hey maybe maybe yep. Kev's, Kev's IT mojo will kick in for you tonight. Who knows? Uh, but what about hey, – what man. about yep. – Uncle strength has that been has that been a thing for Kane? Your brother is in the Angels organization. Oh, I think so. You know, at first he was he was very nervous to even hold my brother <laughs> or hold my son. I'm sorry. You know, it's just one of those things where he kind of looked. He's like, yeah, he's just a little too small for me to grab. But you know, as, as he got comfortable, now he's he's you know super uncle. You know, coming in first thing, going straight to my son, grabbing him, playing with him and whatnot. So it's cool to see him transfer you know into uncle duties and you know hopefully that strength can build in with him as well. Oh, that's cool stuff. Uh, one more question before rapid fire. Now I want to turn back the clock 2021 days when you stole the bag off your old teammate, uh, Yachty Molina. <laughs> First of all, that is awesome bragging rights. And second of all, pretty uh, cool stuff. And how cool was it getting him to sign the bag? Oh, dude, it was amazing. You know, I was telling people the story. I've tagged, I've tagged out hundreds of players, you know, trying to steal off Yachty. And, you know, just doing that as, as a player on his team, man, it just – it brought anxiety to me trying to think of stealing that base. I was like, man, you know, I don't want to be number 975 games on or whatever number it is, you know? So I'm, I was like, I got to pick my spot. I got to pick my spot. And, you know, when I slid in and, and found out I was safe, you know, there was only one thing on my mind, which is to get this bag signed by the GOAT himself, the guy who kind of taught me a lot about this game when I was here. And, uh, you know, it's been pretty cool. But, hey, it's, I got two on him now. So, you yeah. know, 2-0 and off Yachty is, is – I'm going to keep that in, in my bragging rights for sure right now. <laughs> yes, you should. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right, we got some rapid fire questions, and we'll let you go back to stretching and uh, work on the base deals, awesome. right? And go and deep. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. One place everyone needs to visit in Hawaii. Oh. You, need, you need to visit Waipio Valley in Hawaii. I feel there like that's the biggest thing that people overlook. Um, you know, it's called the Valley of the Kings. You know, a place where when you go on there, you feel the true mana of Hawaii. Mm. Mm. Love it. We saw you rocking a denim jacket. Now I want you to tell me who wore better. You right here or Robert Flores mm. rocked it the other day on Central. Oh, I don't know. Robert's got more of that uh, <laughs> whitewashed tie dye looking kind of go going on. So I don't know he might have a gold chain popping under there, too. So I'm going to give it to him for a little bit. You know, oh. my, mine's a, <laughs> mine had a little Balenciaga swag on the back, so I'm going to say that. You know, mine's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Love it. All right, you got some characters in the club. You got Adonis, you got Rad Telez, you got Larry, a.k.a., you know, Kutch and the boys. I want to know the one sneaky dude that's on your team that's funny. Hmm. Sneaky dude would have to be, you know, I don't think it's really sneaky, though. I'd say Brent Suter. He's kind of my not guy, sneaky man. sneaky at all. He's, that's what I'm saying. You know, people kind of overlook him a little, but he's a funny dude, man. He's he's super good. You can joke with him all the time, but he, you know, he's 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 very witty and he's got a lot of a lot of good comebacks. So he's my guy. Harvard. Smart. Love it, love it. Uh, Rowdy Telez, when we had him on, uh, they said that he was, or he told us that somebody, it might have been an old coach, when he went pants high, he looked like a thumb. What body part have you ever been compared to on your looks? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, maybe the pinky, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pinky's out. I just think of the smallest parts to try to keep it, you know, PG-13. So there we go. Pinky. There we go. Smart play. <laughs> oh. All right. And then uh, he told us a nice story that we're going to let you. We had the whiteboard, no ACLs. What does that mean, please? <laughs> no, so we, we uh, our team trainer, Teresa Lau, 
wrote something about how kids don't develop kneecaps until they're, I think, three to, to six years old or something like that. So I, I looked at Rowdy when he was on the bench, and I started poking his knee. I'm like, oh, my God, because, like, my finger was kind of going through his kneecap. I'm like, dude, you've never developed kneecaps. You got no ACLs. What is going on with this right now? And I kept touching, and I kept pushing, and I'm like, ugh, bro, you, no wonder you can't run, bro. You can't even use your knees. Oh, uh, so funny, man. Hey, the, 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 Brewers, the Brewers have given us the best interviews of 2022. <laughs> I, it's just, that's just a certified fact. Hands down. Colton Wong, hey, oh, listen, for, for those who are interested in and want to rock one of these shirts, or here's the one yes. that was designed with Aaron Kai, okay? Mm -hmm. Boom. Yeah. Check out folks at Waikia, and again, the proceeds benefiting the cakey there at Children. There in the 808 in the literacy program. So, awesome. Colton, thanks for spreading the Aloha spirit here on IT. Keep doing it in the show.